I'm going to take a moment just to give you some orientation to Safe Water Network and what we do as an organization, and then more time specifically on our work in uh, Telangana with uh, Honeywell as a lead partner. First of all, we really focus on how to develop and provide solutions locally owned, managed, operated, and sustainable for the populations most in need, lacking access to safe water. It's a global issue. Uh, it's quite astounding. The World Bank recently released a report indicating that if the spending doesn't increase, over the next 15 years, there's a gap of about $550 billion in uh, funding requirements. This is global. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, the number of people without safe water is going to increase to about 4.5 billion people. Quite remarkable when you think about the scale of that. And we recognize that uh, India is particularly impacted given uh, the, the number of people, particularly in rural populations. So we're, we're invested very much, Safe Water Network, in developing solutions that uh, will be successful uh, and then replicated and expanded and scaled up. Uh, Telangana is our showcase program in India uh, with Honeywell bringing leadership uh, support uh, uh, to this uh, program. Uh, we are in fact uh, working across the whole entire stakeholder community, uh, starting with the rural water supply and sanitation uh, in government, uh, state government. Uh, district collectors with support and endorsement from them, grand panchayats, water committees, self-help groups, and local entrepreneurs uh, to ensure that these IGEL water stations can be implemented and sustained uh, locally by the communities where we're operating. Uh, Honeywell, this support comes three years now of support from Honeywell, and it's been uh, very important as we think about our expansion here, soon to be in 100 communities serving 300,000 people, and it's, it's quite... Uh, Remarkable to think of how we are uh, expanding and, and being responsive to the needs in the communities. What we see is a real demand for this solution. It's not just we're bringing a solution to communities, but in fact, we are hearing from communities all the time about the real importance of, uh, of this uh, need and, and in fact, the desire for us to bring the IGEL solution to uh, those communities. As Vikas had indicated, we're measuring and identifying improvements in health, uh, livelihoods, 50% reduction in doctor visits, reduced medical expenses, 225 jobs created in the communities that we're serving through the Honeywell grants, about three uh, individuals in each community, uh, along with tr training and skill building to ensure that these members of the community are locally uh, develop the skills to uh, sustain the operations. Uh, and of course, generating uh, participation and demand in the community for recognizing that association between safe water and good health, which is so important for communities and most of all for the children that uh, live in these communities. Um, what I'll just finally say is all this work, so important for the communities we're serving, is also done in service of a larger cause and purpose, which is to demonstrate a model in the geography here in Telangana uh, that can in fact be replicated and, and scaled up uh, across India and you know, in fact exported in many ways to other geographies. We work in, in Ghana uh, in a very significant way as well and we see great potential to bring the expertise and experience and the model and the, and the work that's happening here in India to further improve our work in Ghana and in other geographies across the world. So we look forward to uh, uh, developing and continue to invest in improving the, the model and the proposition, bringing what I'll call world-class uh, operating capability, training, skills building uh, that can be replicated in a much more significant way in time. So thank you again for all being here, and we look forward to taking that uh, questions.